Hey YouTube, I'm back once again, uh, this time with a couple of unboxings. So at the weekend, uh, 88 Films had a sale, a flash sale of 33% off. So as I record this, it's Friday the 2nd of July, I believe. And uh, yeah, like I say, the, uh, I just checked on the website and it's still going on. I haven't looked to see what the stock's like. As I say, imagine after nearly a week, in fact, it's over a week. Um, I reckon stock is probably low, if, if not out of stock on, on some titles. Um, but yeah, I got all these with 33% uh, off. So there's two, two boxes, two orders. Um, this was the first order I put in. Um, I already opened this box because I thought this was something else uh totally unrelated to to movies um something for the car and uh when i opened it it turns out it was blu-rays um i figured when i saw this box it was too small for what i was expecting um turns out it's not um i literally opened it up peeked in the top saw what it was and that's that's as far as i've gone so uh, i do know what i ordered obviously but um I'll be looking at this for the first time as we uh, as we as I pull them out so on top so first we have brothers till we die this was the one uh, Italian collection release that I was missing uh, up until the most recent releases um, uh, limited edition once again with the slip cover uh this had been already been discounted to 9.99 on the website um before the 33 percent so literally six pound 66 this has cost me so uh yeah cheaper than i've ever seen it on ebay i'm sure uh so i was happy to oh, someone at the door Well, it looks like we might have another unboxing, or an unpackaging at least. Uh, that was the postman, uh, and there's a, another parcel here. Uh, I believe this has come from Blue Air Bullet Brit. Uh, and it feels like slip covers. I have no idea which ones are in here, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pop that open once I've gone through these two boxes. So uh, a bit of a bonus. Right, uh, so next, uh, Shizoid, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but I would say Shizoid, Klaus Kinski movie, um, another Slasher Classics collection uh, that I didn't own. Um, this bin, Spy number 43, uh, with the limited edition slipcover, now in the black cases, of course, because... Uh, 88 films somehow are not able to get hold of red ones any longer so they went with black although for a short time they did have clear um i think christmas evil came in a clear case uh, next up 10 to midnight charles bronson again slasher classics collection this one being spy number 44 from 1983 and this one is from 1980 so excuse shizoid is from 1980 uh, and once again another yeah, i think this is why this box is smaller than i expected actually because these are all slim cases uh moon over scorpio again slasher classics collection um Number 45 from 19, 1987. We can't focus in on that. 
1987, I'm sure. Uh, that's awesome. I don't know much about any of those, to be fair. Uh, what's next? Another Slasher Classics. This one being New Year's Evil. Uh, Spine 46 from 1980. Again, all of these with the slip covers, all in black cases. So what we got, uh, 43, 44, 45 and 46. So that definitely fills a gap in the collection. Um, so 42 was the last one I got, or the last, the last, the highest number, should I say, that I own. I don't know if it's the last one that I got. Um, so that brings us up to 46. Um, I think there are a few more. Um, that I didn't get in on this order. That's uh, yeah, that needed. Uh, then some Van Dam. This one being nowhere to run uh, with the limited edition shiny slipcase, uh, numbered uh, two thousand one hundred and seventy-three of three thousand. Another Van Dam, the Legionnaire. Again, limited edition, not quite as shiny a case on this one, but uh, still limited edition, 1,935 of 3,000. That does look a little, uh, little glossier. It's like a metal, metally type sheen on them. Uh, maximum risk. We have number 500. Or 900, 926, 3,000. It's very difficult to see with that. Uh, I mean, I, I imagine a lot of that reflection is from the plastic as opposed to, the, I think the sleeves are still glossy. We're getting close to the bottom now. Uh, and another Van Damme, this one being Universal Soldier, The Return. Uh, number 712. Of 3,000. So all of these Van Damme releases were limited to 3,000. There are eight in the series, I believe. Uh, Replicant. These were all 15, 15 pound, 14.99. So with the discount, they were literally a tenner a piece, um, which is the cheapest I've seen them. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't checked CEX for all of them, to be fair, but the likes of HMV and Zavi uh, sell them at full price. And even on eBay, um, on auction, they sell pretty well. Uh, so this one's 1,800, uh, sorry, 1,782 of 3,000. And finally, the last one in here, double team. I'm not sure how I feel about that cover. I do like this movie a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't think they've done the best job with the cover on this one. Uh, again, limited edition, 2012 of 3000. So that's, that's uh, six of the eight. Oops. Oops, so that's six of the eight that, uh, oh, we don't want that one on there. Uh, and the other two I already have somewhere up on that shelf. Um, if I can locate them, I'll, uh, I'll grab them. go so that's the other two not off from street fighter so to date that's the entire set that 88 films have put out i know they're doing uh 
Cyborg, which I think comes out this month. I need to double check on that. But all of these with the two parcels, which we'll go into the second one in a minute, um, I got over three thousand pa three thousand pounds. No, I didn't get three thousand pounds. I got no three thousand points. Uh, over a little over three thousand points. So they added the points to the full value, and then took their discount off. So I got over 3,000 points on top of the points that I already have. means I've got over £35 in um, over thirty-five pounds in vouchers for when the next thing, I guess, that is released that I want to buy. Um, and Cyborg is coming up, like I say. But uh, if they get... Um, if they get Short Circuit 2 back in stock which was a, a bit of a bummer um, because they changed that I don't know if it's gone out of stock actually but they changed the price on that they put it up to £888 which is like I say their placeholder price uh, for Short Circuit 2 for some reason um, I guess some people couldn't buy that discounted which is weird because there was one item that I bought which was on pre-order that came out this week. Um, which is in this box, this other box. Uh, which is the same price. And there were others that were more expensive that were available in this sale as well. The, the uh, Urban Legend Trilogy, which is 30 quid, was obviously discounted down to 20 quid. Um, with, the, with, the, with the discount... Uh, and that was in the sale, so why Short Circuit 2 was removed, I don't know. But anyway, if that comes back, I might use that to get Short Circuit 2, or if not, I'll probably... I mean, I've got Cyborg pre-ordered on, on Amazon, but I can always cancel that. Um, so, yeah, I'm chuffed that I've got all of those. They are... They're not numbered... Well, they are numbered on the back, as you can see, but they're also... On the, the dates on the spines there of, of release, so you can put them in some kind of order. Um... It's just a shame that Universal Soldier isn't isn't the original Universal Soldier. It would have been nicer if they'd uh, if they'd had the original Universal Soldier in this collection rather than the Return. But maybe they can't get the rights for that original movie. I can't remember what studio owns that one. But yeah, happy with those. Um, I'm going to pause for a second and then we'll get into the second box. So this one's much bigger than the first box, although the contents, um, as far as numbers in here, I think are a similar amount. Um, as, as I'm lifting it, I can feel the weight is all on one side. Um, so I, I'm assuming the Blu-rays are all on this side of the box, and this side of the box is just going to be packaged in. Um, so I didn't order these at the same time. I, I ordered this lot, this first lot, I think last Friday, um, and it was sent out on Saturday so really quickly uh, it arrived on Monday after I'd uh, gone to work so I left a card and delivered it the next day and uh, this box I think arrived on Wednesday um, again I wasn't home but this time they left it with the neighbour so I, I grabbed it she was out uh, yesterday morning so we literally only crossed over for about 30 minutes as she came home and I went to work, so I grabbed this just before I went to work yesterday. Um, so this is really, probably not the first chance I've had to open it, but uh, certainly the first chance I've had to film opening it. Right, we're in. So as I thought, it looks like all the packaging is on this side. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. Uh, and literally everything else is there. So that one is a new release this week. So we'll come back to that. Some of these are, are older, some are um, Filling more gaps 
Um, so first off, um, this is a disappointment because this was showing on the website has been the limited edition. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with that one. And it's, the disc isn't loose, but there's loose plastic in there. Yeah, it's a new Fist of Fury. I, watched, I saw this in, in HMV on Sunday and I nearly got it and I didn't when I, when I, because I, I remembered this was on the website, um, on 88 Films website, uh, cheaper. Obviously it's the same price, but with the, with the 33% discount, it was cheaper. Yeah, so that one's a big disappointment that it's, uh, it's not the limited edition. That's, uh, yeah, I'll have to look and see what CX is selling that for. Maybe it's still, because I got it cheaper, maybe it's still worth trading in. Um, this one I've been honing and hiring about getting for a couple of years, maybe more, since it came out. I am, I was 99.9% .9 sure that this had a slipcover on the initial release. Yet, I've looked and looked and I can't find any evidence. I've never seen one for sale on eBay with the slip cover um and certainly not after that prior release and i honestly can't remember whether they were for sale at the time when this been released i've just not not long watched it on the arrow dvd and i didn't love it to be honest um but that's a bit of a completionist when it comes to uh to buying certainly from 88 films i like i like their titles a lot I mean, I like Arrow a lot. I'm, I'm not. I'm not looking to get every single thing from Arrow. And to be fair, I'm not looking to get every every single thing from 88 Films. But um, with it having a slip cover, I wanted it, and I just have not been able to find it anywhere. Any evidence of it showing that slip cover? So in the end, I've, I yeah, uh, this was only seven ninety nine. Less the discount has brought it down to. I, I, I don't even know how much. I would say less than a fiver. Um, so yeah, Surf, Surf Ninjas Must Die um, I thought that had loose plastic inside as well But it doesn't Yeah, so that's another one uh, Then So we'll do them two next So another Slasher Classics collection I figured after that first order There was only two of these actually needed now To fill the set So it just was a no-brainer for me to, to grab these last two in this uh, second order. Um, so this one's Blind Date and it's spine number 49 from 1984. Uh, I vaguely remember this coming out, but um, I don't think I ever saw it. Um, again, with the slip cover. And then the last one I need to, to finish this collection or update it at least to date is um actually I I think I'm lying. It looks like I'm still one missing. Oh no, it's up there. Um, I, 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 I realise as I'm looking at these. So this is spine number forty eight, uh, dark room. That's spine forty nine, and then if I put that on top of there, I got forty three. 46 in the last package so it would seem that 47 is missing but I, I it just occurred to me that I got one um, on uh, Amazon glitch day cheap I think just was it, was it seven pound something like that um, which is grandmother's house and that's number 47 so that's that's the one that's missing from that pile so yes this collection is now to my knowledge up to date there wasn't any more on uh, the 88 films website that were available um so what's next mystery men um very underrated movie in my opinion um i think it was ahead of its time um when uh superhero movies were uh pretty much frowned upon um it's it's such a funny film uh and i'm really really happy i do have this on hd dvd and i'm happy to have this release on on blu-ray now um the limited edition one again with the slip cover uh yeah really really good another 80s uh, 
cheesy action flick Avenging Force with uh, the American Ninja, Michael Didikoff. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this. At least I had no recollection. I might actually watch it and think, oh yeah, I, I recognise this film. But as far as the the the, the title's concerned, um, I don't think I've seen this movie. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting into that one. Uh, this one I know very little about, but it was it was cheap, even before the discount. Um, Pets, again, it's a limited edition. Um, I'm I'm thinking, well, I, no, I don't know though. I have seen this in H in in HMV without the slip, so I assume that the slip was out of print. But the fact that 88 Films still have this with the slip suggests that it's still obviously available. Um, I guess 88 Films maybe are just holding on to the last stock that they have and. Any new stock that's coming in is shipping out to retailers, which is why HMV do have this with the slip, but they also have copies without the slip. Uh, what else have we got? This is a quite a new release. Um, in the cold of the night. I didn't know much about this one, but it looks like a, a 90s uh, thriller. Maybe sci-fi thriller, not sure. Uh, again, this was showing on the website as being the limited edition with the slipcover. Um, I'm disappointed. I am very disappointed. I've got to say. Hmm. Sholin Woodmen. Sholin Wooden Men, I should say. Um... I'm happy to have the films, but all the others that I've bought so far in this Jackie Chan collection, I've got the limited editions with the slips. So I was wanting to get the entire set, if I can, with the slips. Yeah, so that's that's disappointing. Uh, speaking of Jackie Chan with the slip, the standard edition of The Young Master. Um, this is sealed over the slip, so I can't even pull out the... Uh, yeah, the, uh, the case from the slip. Yeah, so chuffed to have grabbed that one. And then finally, this just came out on Monday. Um, and so I was quite surprised that it was part of the... Because basically, this was still on pre-order as the sale started. Um, so this is from the uh, Italian collection. Um, of course... As with the last one, the Italian uh, sleeve is on the inside with the spine number. So I'm not entirely sure what spine number this one is. But this is now, was, the last released title in that collection that I needed. Um, I think there are another three uh, not even yet available on pre-order. Um, but are up on the website at their £888 price point at the moment. Um, so this one being so sweet, so perverse. Um, again, comes in this new limited edition packaging, which I, I really like. I, I don't so much love the price point at £25, but 33% uh, off. That was uh, a good deal, I think. So I'm happy to have got that. And... I'm going to actually open this one because I want to have a look inside. Uh, where did that go? Did I pull that off completely? I must have done. I split the plastic and thought I'd have a little bit hanging off so I could pull, but it's fallen off. Anyway, I've got another bit there. Get rid of that. Again, it's a lovely soft touch, hard case, um, and it's a, a fairly uniform size by the looks of it. So I'm hoping at some point, as more and more of these get produced, someone's going to uh, make a plastic sleeve, um, much like the ones I've got for the slip covers, that'll fit just nicely on these. So inside, of course, we've got the movie. Uh, no poster, but quite comprehensive looking booklet. Uh, 
have a proper look through that later. Inside some art cards. No poster. Also, we have got a poster. Awesome. So I'm guessing the poster is the uh, the different. different artworks on the sleeves so I'm assuming that's going to be the internal and on the other side we'll have yeah the, the new artwork I'm assuming that is nice it's quite again like the uh, the last one the paper stock is is, is Good quality. It's not a, a quite a flimsy poster. It's um, yeah, it's 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 tough in a good way. Not sure that's how it folded. There we go. And as you can see there, we've got the the Italian collection. Sadly, in Italian on the inside. I don't like it when they do that. But the spine number is 67. From 1969. I thought it looked 60s. This, again, is a very, very cheap case. A very cheap case. Uh, I'm not liking that at all. have to change that out once again I need to get hold of some uh, some more clear cases I think not sure how much they are um, yep yeah, so so what do we get the first lot we got uh, got six Van Dams did we yeah six Van Dams one two three four five so yeah we had 11 11 titles in the first lot and three five Six, seven, nine titles in the second. So, very pleased that uh, it didn't leave much left on their website actually that I didn't already have that uh, certainly that I was interested in anyway. Um, the only collection, the only real collection that they do that I haven't collected is their uh, Asia collection. Um, I never really got into those and I'm not going to start now because I don't think they're quite as far in as the Italian and the Slash Clashes collection but uh, there's, I mean, there's 20 or 30 maybe more by now so that's not something I'm going to get into I'm going to just carry on with with uh, obviously with the Van Damme collection now and some of the odd uh, one-off releases that they do um, I want to get all the Jackie Chans obviously which uh, I'm not that far off now although there's two there that I'm not happy about. Um, but yeah, all in all, good collection. Uh, I'll move on to this one now. So this came from Pete. So Pete, thanks very much. Uh, pretty much a live unboxing, not unpackaging. This, this literally arrived through the door while I was recording this video. Slice through the tape there. Try and slide these out without uh, looking too hard at them. So we've got some DC. Um, Superman, Man of Tomorrow. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. These are all upside down, that looks like. Godzilla vs Kong. Um, need to find out whether there's a 3D version of this film at some point. Uh, 4K of Doctor Strange. Shetty Kills, I have that. I don't know whether I've got the slipcover for it. And I don't, uh, I certainly don't remember um, a lenticular, so I'll have to look at that one. Uh, Vikings uh, Season 3. Ooh, Dr. Shivago, Iconic Moments. I don't have that. Do I have the movie? I'm not sure whether I've got the movie or not, but uh, nice iconic moment sleeve to, to look out for the movie. Uh, speed 4K, train spot in T2 4K, 
Pride and Prejudice, one of the uh, titles that I was trying to get on Amazon Glitch Day and it wouldn't let me buy. It was really cheap, I think it was something like £1.50. Um, yeah, we've got a slip cover for that one. Some more DC, uh, Batman Death in the Family, Moon, great movie, really enjoy that. Um, Curse of La 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 my God, that was a mouthful. The Curse of La Llorona. This also looks like it's part of a... There's a, there's a set of um, horror movies in HMV that come with a, a very similar style slip to this. I wonder if this is part of that collection. I'm not sure. But I've never heard of this movie. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks very much, Pete. With a bunch of uh, slips. I'm going to have a quick look now and see if... Uh, See if I've got that. So it would seem I don't own Machete Kills. I thought I did. I've got Machete with the slip. Um, but I don't own Machete Kills with or without. Weirdly. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to look out for. Hmm. Right. Cheers, Pete. Appreciate it. Uh, your parcel probably should be arriving today um, as I'm recording this it's Friday uh, yeah very happy anyway um, not so much on some of those um, a little bit cheesed off I've got to say with a couple of those uh, Jackie Chans but uh, all all over happy um, and some great ones in here that I'll be definitely be looking out for the movies. Um, yeah, um, that lot is the pickups for the last few weeks. I've just recorded a video for that, so go and check that out if you want. Uh, and that's it. So thanks so much for watching once again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.